What is up, you guys? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpio Reds Tarot. I am back in the building one time for the one time. Yes, indeed. We are in here to find out what the T is. What's the T and who is secretly crushing on you? Who was crushing on you, boo? Who's all in the background, keeping it all secreted on the hush hush that they've been checking you out, that they've been liking your vibe, baby. That they can see a lot in your eyes, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Bars. Okay, listen. <laughs> So listen, thank you guys for stopping through, um, liking, sharing, and subscribing, and um, you know, just showing me love on my channel. I want to give a quick shout out to like all of the people that's just been following me and still been supporting me throughout all of these years. You know, I know I took a little break, but you know, I'm back in the building. Let's give God some praise and thanks one time for the one time before we go into this energy so bow your head with me and lift your hands up in prayer Father God thank you so much for bringing us here collectively thank you so much for covering us in love giving us amazing vibe and just providing a whole bunch of just blessed open doors of abundant new situations new people places and things Father God we're just you know coming in here trying to find out what we got coming towards us who's been peeping us out what their intentions are for us and all of that good stuff so father god if you wouldn't mind just tapping in with us and putting your hands on your beautiful children and so they can figure out which one of these pals to pick you know so they can find out what energy they got coming towards them father god so thank you so much for blessing us and not stressing us father god thank you so much for keeping us close to you please give us the goddess that we need to receive today and thank you for every day in jesus name amen amen and amen all right let's get into this so we got three pals we got group number one with the amethyst bracelet we got group number two i believe it's called like a, a rutilized something i don't know i have no idea look i ain't even about to try to tell y'all the name of these bracelets look just check it out see the beautiful little yellow one you know what i'm saying beautiful 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 and we got group number three with this bracelet right here all right this beautiful bracelet all right so one more time we got group number one group number two and group number three what it be all right so let's get into it let's find out what we got going on <clears throat> let's find out what we got going on so you pick group number one this is your reading so let's find let me put this on all right so let's get into the tea first let's get into the little tea tea leaf cards so we got the bird news message all right somebody been talking about you could be even someone that you've been already communicating with i feel like this is someone that you're already in communication with this someone that's been looking at you plenty of material things hmm i want to fill you up a little bit the boots it says increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goal I don't think that this person believes that if I buy this person's shoes that they'll walk out of my life. Like this person will buy you boots and plenty of material things. A lot of nice jewelry, especially going out to eat. I feel like this person, your first date will probably be be going out to a really, really nice restaurant. A really nice restaurant. I feel like this person really likes seafood could possibly be borderline pescatarian. I don't think that they think that they're pescatarian, but this person loves to eat crab and lobster. That's all I know. Not big on the shrimp, but just loves crab and lobster with a lot of butter. Truffle butter, to be exact. Oh, my goodness. This person is fancy. And this person lives very well. But like, this person dresses very well. I don't... Uh, if this is a man, I don't feel like this person cooks. This person eats a lot of fine dining. They eat a lot of trash and stuff. I, they love McDonald's. Love McDonald's French fries. I mean, and, and I can even see this person dipping their fries in a Sunday. 
<sighs> so they eat trash food, but yet I feel like this person has an exquisite taste and they may be trying to kick things up a, a notch with you. So you might see them being a little bit more active, especially in the communication. So if they haven't expressed their interest in wanting to take you out, they could definitely be moving towards that. Let's see what we got in the center energy. Okay. Well, we got the muse living in my dreams. Come on. How <laughs> this person is picturing you naked. And you can see all of these lustful things that they want to do with you. They have not touched you before. They have only just been visibly exploring your body. They think that you are very voluptuous. They And I feel like you are kind of slim thick with it. You got all of the nice curves. And all the right place. Well, I feel like this person is flat chested. I feel like whoever the female is, you may be flat chested, but this person doesn't. I don't think that they're a person that really trips off of someone having big titties or anything like that. They kind of like a more, they like a slender, petite body with just nice curves and beautiful lips and things like that. I feel like this person loves your lips or something about your lips that this person wants. It's like, I'm seeing like when y'all are kissing and things like that. It's like this person likes to suck on your lips and things. Like they love tasting your lips. And it's like you put this like cherry chapstick or something on your lips. Or whatever lip gloss or something. It has some type of florally like taste or something. And it's like after he finished kissing you. It's like your, his lips be all sticky with this shit or whatever. But... <laughs> It's like he don't even care about rubbing that shit off. It's just it just reminds and it tastes of you, so he just keeps it. Like, I, mm, oh my goodness, we got the justice, but the justice came out in the reverse. And you see how this person is like, you know, looking, like peeking, like trying to find out some information or something like that. So with this justice being in the reverse, I feel like. They are going through too much trouble trying to find out, like, if you're talking to somebody instead of just going directly to the source. So, I feel like it's, it's like, not going anywhere. Like, them not coming out and being direct. And then again, I feel like this person, this person feels like you are looking at them too. Maybe from like another profile or it's like you go on vanish mode or something like that where people can't see that you're online or that they're looking at your photos or whatever, whatever. But it's like they be always looking at your shit like every morning. Like I can see this motherfucker getting up. I know this is too descriptive, but you know how men, they'll get up in the morning and they'll smoke their cigarette, they'll be sitting on the toilet with their phone, like, yes, going down your profile, seeing who's in your comments and all of that stuff like that, and it's like, if there's anybody in your comment section talking or doing too much, like, it could be extreme jealousy, but it's like, they're not stepping up to the plate, like, they're just, like, lurking in the background instead of, like, coming forward and saying what needs to be said, so, like, that's why this justice is in reverse right here, because I feel like they're not forgiving their for just not being more active and, and clearly you're the muse that lives in their head so it's like why am I not like busting a move on this the only reason why I feel like this person may not do this is like if you already have some type of established relationship where they can only look and it'll be like wrong for them to try to come to you Or maybe are they in? Oh, let me see what these other cards are saying. Okay, so you got the Ace of Pentacles and you got the Ten of Pentacles. So, excuse me, I got. Excuse me, I got sneeze. So, it's like these are all of the things that this person wants to do to you that they can see doing with you. They can see waking up, you making pancakes, butt ass naked, and they just admiring you, and you just like. I don't, it's like you're like everything that this person dreams of in their mind. It's like this person has this whole freaking fictional world that y'all live in that if you guys can actually be together, how it would be like. 
they just want to do you see do you see this man like he would just wake up and just play in your pussy like this man would just wake up and the first thing look the first thing is not Folgers in his cup bitch it's gonna be you bitch in his mouth like he just gonna wake up and just suck on you bitch and just nibble on your nipples and just kiss all on your waistline and in your inner thigh just make your pussy tremble and the juices drip down your fucking legs and just like when you get up it's just nothing but a fucking wet spot but bitch you ain't even slide the dick in he's just motherfucking teasing your body like you ever had somebody just motherfucking just like explore your whole body like they ain't even kiss your pussy or lick the clit yeah he's just kissing all around and just playing with your whole fucking emotions right now like what like this is the type of nigga you see he, he he's like no nigga go ahead keep the bush in leave the bush because it's like he loves your uh what is it your pheromones or whatever the hell it is like your natural smell he likes it so he don't mind a little bit of hair down there you know what I'm saying like he don't mind you to keep it cause he wanna play in it he just wanna lay in it do you understand what I'm saying like what like this one is a master of congolinas like he takes his time and again he would just sit there and just like your whole body just be shivering just because he's just sitting there just smelling your pussy just smelling it just like mm, i bet you taste good just talk all this shit licking i'm trying to tell you that licking in the end of the oh chills and again I feel like y'all will be going on expensive vacations. I don't feel like this man has any kids. I feel like he has a lot of money and a lot of time on his hands. And he wants to do all the things that he's fantasized with you. And you know, plenty of material things. So like, I don't know whoever the fuck this is. I feel like, girl, you about to be a trick, baby. Hold on, let me tell you. Look, hold on. But bitch, uh, it ain't tricking if you got it. Look, it looks. I like shit and I want shit. And I'm going to prove that I'm going to do everything in my power to keep you whatever you want within arm's reach within your heart's desire as long as you can ship it you can get it bitch do you understand what i'm saying he work hard for the money mm -mm, mm -mm. so hard for it honey bitch he work hard for the money okay he work hard for the money so you better treat her right yes ma'am hello Listen, only thing you got to do is take care of Papa and look, he going to bring home the bacon. He just want to sit there and watch you cook it up with your sexy motherfucking ass. Bitch, you probably ain't even going to make it through cooking them pancakes, bitch. Look, just make sure to turn the stove off because I can definitely see y'all getting in the middle of something. In Because he just sitting there just like staring at your body and just trying to motherfucking lift that t-shirt up and see how wet that pussy is up under that t-shirt, bitch. Because he know that pussy been marinating. Girl, no, ma'am. He's like, listen, I'm supposed to put my foot, I'm supposed to put dick all down her back. Uh, okay? Right here in this kitchen, I'm about to put dick down this girl back. She think I'm, what? I told her keep, come. Look, it's something about that t-shirt and them panties on. Hey, a t-shirt. You never knew some t-shirt and the panties on would turn a nigga on so much. What? He be trying to take your ass up out of that shit, girl. What? Fuck them pancakes, bitch. We will order some motherfucking IHOP or something, bitch. You better get the fuck. Look, plenty of material things, girl. What? Do I need to call the fucking service for you? Because, bitch, I'm about to tear this pussy up, girl. I'm about to eat this. I'm about to slurp this shit up like a motherfucking parfait, bitch. I'm about to eat up all this motherfucking goodness, girl. Every last drop, you got me fucked up. So, I'm gonna look, I'm trying to wake up the plan, your bush. Throw a couple dollars on you. Stop fucking playing, bitch. Look, come on. Let's go shopping. Buy some new langarees or some shit. Your sexy ass. God damn. Whoever this is is extremely attracted to you. Okay, so let's see what they say. It says, plan on it. If you think you're lonely now, wait until tonight. Oh, God. Hold on. What is going on? If you think you're lonely now, what is going on? Wait until tonight. Jesus, what is going on? Dog confession. I will shut down all my other holes for you. Just say it. Ooh, 
hoes? Was this person talking to all the other hoes? That he was shut down everything for you? Oh, no. Let me try to find out what the real tea is with that ten of pentacles. Remember, I was saying something earlier. Because listen to me. I don't know. This person could be married already and is bored in his relationship. Look at his face a little bit. Like, maybe whoever that is at home, you know, she got a little bit too much weight on him. He like him a little slim thick with him. He's like thinking about you. Like, listen, the muse to this person. Look, look. I don't know if this is someone that's already in a relationship. Because I told you this person was late night peeping or early morning creeping on your shit. I don't know if this motherfucker's supposed to be looking. Some of this justice being on reverse that it's like fucking with my head top right now. Come on now. Let's see what's going on. It says nasty freak. Suck dick on the way to the dentist. Ooh. Okay. Look. <laughs> There's a reason why I made this call because I have experience with that. So. The meaning of this card, if you do not know the song where this reference comes from, Bitch is a Freak, She Sucked Dick on the Way to the Dentist. If you've ever gone to get a tooth extraction before, you know you cannot suck dick, you cannot smoke, you cannot sip out of a straw, you can't do none of that shit. So if you know that you're going to go get any type of dental work done, if you are a headmaster, Okay, if you are a headmaster and your man like you and your headmaster abilities, you better motherfucker take care of your man all the way to the fucking dentist because bitch, you going to be out of commission for a minute. Okay, that is a bitch that is dedicated. I'm, I'm an artist and I am sensitive about my shit. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you a true freak. You a certified dime all the motherfucking time. That bitch is a 10. Okay. Know that that nigga knows that you a motherfucker 10 if you willing to put that work in because you know you're going to be out of commission. You trying to take care of daddy. Come on now. Come on now. You a certified freak every day of the week. Come on, Jesus. It says when you make it effortless, it lasts forever. So I am definitely getting something here with this group number one that someone may be in a relationship. And then you see... Like that infinity sign right there. But to me, it's giving me these glasses. It's giving me glasses. And remember, what is this all about? Who is secretly crushing on you? And what is this person doing that they should not be doing with this justice card in the reverse? Peeping and creeping. It says, always follow your heart. Don't listen to what other people say. Don't listen to what people say. They don't know about, about you and me. Put it out your mind, cause it's jealousy. They don't know about this. E. Yo, okay, I'm really getting that. I don't know if, because again, we got the birds, so that can represent gossip, people talking, being a little chatty patty. I don't know if this person has been talking, or I don't know if you have been discussing the affair. And then, wait, this is a number 10, a number 10, and I was just saying shorty is a 10. This is new. This is something new. Y'all never experienced like this person is. I don't even feel like this person has been in a situation like this before. Because I'm really getting out of this person is married with this Ten of Pentacles. And this person has like new fantasies, new desires. This person is wanting to follow their heart and not listen to what people are saying because it's something about this person's fixation with you that is not right you know what i'm saying like this person shouldn't be doing this look and then and then they're going to say they would never know Ooh, rebel bitch you motherfucking play bitch you playing with me and then this motherfucker said call me daddy with the anchor 
Bitch, no. And it said, I told my father all about you. Yes, ma'am, Miss Pam. He do like green eggs and ham. Oh, and look at this. Look at this little symbol right here with the call me daddy. Look, he went, I'm living dangerously. She living too dangerous for me. Okay, let's see. He tried. <laughs> Y'all, this motherfucker. Because I feel like, listen, I'm keeping it 100. I'm about to keep it a buck because I don't give a fuck. I'm about to tell you what I believe. I'm about to tell you what I believe. What I believe. I'm about to tell you what I believe. This is what's going on. Y'all are friends. Y'all already know each other. This person is already in a fucking relationship. This person is already married. I really don't think that there's anything wrong in the relationship. I just feel like they've been with each other for a number of years and it's just still and it's just boring. It's something about this new connection. Like and I, I feel like maybe this person goes out to lunch with you all of the time. Like, y'all go out to eat. Y'all just chill. It's like a friend base type of thing. Like, some type of... Y'all are just kind of chilling and getting to know each other. But it sparked this fucking interest. Where this person is absolutely fixated with you. They love talking to you. And I feel like this person has to hide their messages. They definitely have, with this justice in reverse, they have to hide their messages. So, they can't show traces that they've been looking at your pages, that they've been communicating with you, because it would be wrong. And that's why it started out playing on it. If you think you're lonely now, wait until tonight. So, group one, I'm going to let you know. I'm going to let you know, even though, like they said, a dog's confession. You got one of the dog's confessions cards, Lord. They would shut everything down for you. Because, honestly, like this person is all fantasizing in their head because they think that you a certified freak every day of the week. Because y'all be talking, y'all be having a whole bunch of motherfucking nasty conversations. I don't think y'all did anything with each other yet, but y'all had a lot of nasty conversations. Y'all could have even been talking about going out of town with each other. Like, you know, something is being discussed here where like some extra effort is going to be pursued here. Like... I can even see this person buying you gifts. Like, I, and this person ain't even fuck you yet or nothing. It's just like this person just been just thinking about it. And, and just living in the fantasy world just gives them a new, refreshing taste of life. Something for them to, like, even when they be going home having sex with their wife or whatever, it's like they be fantasizing about it being you and shit like that. It's kind of, uh -huh, I don't even want to say it like it's kind of making their sex life better on certain days, but then on other days it's just like annoying because it's like I want something new. Like this person wants something new. And again, hello, hello. You know, like the G that I be, I'm going to keep it 100 with you, bitch. If you think you're lonely now, wait until tonight. You get into this situation with this person, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you the way karma will want me to tell you. This person is not going to leave their wife. I don't give a fuck. Ain't nothing that bad going on at home where they're going to leave their wife. I feel like this person just wants a new little investment. Something on the side. This person really likes talking to you. And if there is anybody else that they are talking to and entertaining outside of their outside of their wife like they will shut all of them other bitches down for you where you you will be able to have their undivided attention outside of the wife and they want you to call them daddy <laughs> like they like being they like taking care he likes taking care of his women and he kind of likes a certain level of control and, like, if you need something, you come to me. You come to daddy. Like, daddy got you. Like, yeah, like, you daddy's girl. Like, no bullshit. Like, I, I got to. And, again, I feel like his his father is, like, an old school player or something like that. And, like, it's certain things about 
certain instances of things that happened when he grew up between his parents that he's as an adult he's starting to understand his father now so like him and his father has been getting real close especially with all of this stuff going on in his marriage and him stepping out of his marriage and all of the stuff like that but it's like these other women give him peace and it gives him happiness when he comes home and like i, I don't fucking know i ain't even about to go down a rabbit hole but listen i'm letting you know if you think you're lonely now wait until tonight if you get involved with this person it's going to be good in the beginning this person is going to take care of you they are going to financially take care of you i'm letting you know that but their time may not always be available you know what i'm saying like in the beginning y'all going to be talking to each other a lot a lot a lot but then it's going to slow down you know what i'm saying so it's something about this energy with this person that i feel like they always need something new to be fixated on like eventually you're not going to be the shiny new fucking quarter and you're going to become old, too. You see all those other stacks of shiny new coins under there. Like, you know, just like right now, you're the one that is, like, outshining all of the other ones. You know what I'm saying? So, all of the shit that he was doing for the other little hoes and shit, he's going to stop it. He's, daddy going to give all of the money to you. So, hmm, that's a little tea, girl. I don't know. You know, do what you want to do. Because, I, like, I, I live in a place of non-judgment. Because, bitch, listen. <laughs> girl... I ain't gonna tell you what the fuck not to do, cause bitch, I done motherfucking did some things in my past that you know I, I can't say that I was proud of. You know what I'm saying? But shit, if I ain't go through it, I wouldn't be who I am today. So listen, we all grow through things that we grow. But you know, listen, I, I, but try to encourage y'all not to be fucking with no married men. Unless you a real G with it and you just like, look, bitch, I'm out. <laughs> okay, and then if you like, <laughs> bitch, then I'm like, <laughs> okay, bitch. And <laughs> we like, <laughs> okay, I am reloaded, okay. All right, all right, <laughs> okay. So listen, group number two, group number two, what it do? If this is you, baby, shine bright like a diamond. Shine right like a diamond. Shine right like a diamond. I don't know why I felt like singing that. Shine bright tonight. You and I were beautiful like diamonds in the sky. Come on, y'all. What is going on with y'all? Let's find out. Let's get into it. Oh, Lord, you got the witch card. And you got the rooster and the harp. Round, round like a dungeon dragon. What the fuck is going on with y'all group two? You shining. You shining in a, in a lot of ways. But goddamn. Shit. You got the witch card. So you got the witch. You got a magician. You got an old trickery dickery. You got an old trickery dickery doc. He wants you to jump on a cock. Who the one bars? Bitch, you ain't about to play with me. What? You got an old trickery dickery doc. He wants you to come sit on a cock. Hold on, bitch. And I just made that shit up to bitch bars. Y'all just not about. Yeah, if y'all don't put some bars down in the motherfucking comments, young. Yeah. What? Bitch, I am reloaded. Bitch. Listen. <laughs> Honey, you got somebody that is really trying to manifest you. I'm not even about to lie. Like this is a this is some dark energy. And the only reason why I'm saying it is because this rooster right is right here. It says an arrogant and boastful person you should not cross. And it's like this person is trying to manifest some type of great happiness with you. I don't know if you used to do something with each other. And the fact that I started out singing Shine Bright Like a Diamond, it's like it's a lot of pressure at this point. What to do with you? Wow, why did I say that? It's a lot of pressure at this point. Well, bitch, let me find out what the fuck going on because y'all ain't about to stress me. Y'all about to bless me. Y'all ain't about to stress me. Hello? The fuck? The hell going on? What the hell? Let's find out. Let's go on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you got 
the great theater of life. Look, don't tell nobody. She like, Jimmy, get away from me. Like I told you, I don't want to talk to you. Listen, Tabitha, I really fucking love you. I know I fucked up, but I'm telling you, like, my boyfriend's going to see us and we can. Tabitha, just listen to me just one more time. I, I can't do this anymore. I'm going to leave you alone. They're, they're coming back. Look, y'all. Ooh, trickery dickery dog. He wants you to sit on the cock. He wants you to sit on the cock. He wants you to sit on the cock. Listen, he just, he, ooh. Ooh and ooh. The great theater of life. While everybody out there putting on a show, he in the background trying to convince you to be a hoe. She like, not today. I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this. I feel like this isn't right. I don't, I don't understand. Why don't you just leave me alone? Like, for real. Like, I just want to do my job and just be a role model citizen of America. <laughs> Girl, she is giving damsel in distress. And you see Big Mama back there. She about to go on for her main part. And all this time, she walking up on the real motherfucking theater of life going on in the back. She like, what the fuck going on with y'all? Fuck is going on with you, Thomas? Hold on, I forgot what I said his name was in the beginning. What I said that nigga name was? What I said that nigga name was? Why is he harassing this girl? Look, everybody out here trying to do their fucking job and shit. And this girl's getting harassed on her job. And she said she don't want to be with you no more. She said leave her the fuck alone. In the name of Jesus. But you listen, um, mama, big mama seen that shit happening to you, girl. Someone's seen it happening. So someone else is aware of the shit that's going on. That old freaky Thomas won't stop fucking with you, Tabitha. Come on, Tabby. Come on, Tabby in the Navy. Come on, Tabby in the Navigator. Riding through like a Crusader. Bitch. Listen, this is three of fucking wands. Listen, mother, look. Okay. I think this motherfucker was just shocked. Why, why I heard shocked that he like you? I feel like when you guys first started fucking with each other, you such a unique individual that this person was shocked that they liked you. And again, why well, I feel like this was like a work thing, you know, like I, I, I'm kind of shocked that I'm doing this or whatever. But the pussy is good. Like the pussy is good. Girl, we about to go in that break room closet, girl, where they got all that motherfucking Clorox and all of that shit, bitch. I'm about to bend you over this motherfucker, bitch. Don't you spill them bottles of the bitch. Don't you shake this motherfucking girl. Don't you, uh, girl. What? You, ooh, ooh, and just took all their clothes off. I feel like it was someone that was most definitely sneaking around. Was sneaking around. And what is this right here? This is the... What is this? The sun and... Aries? Yeah, so this is definitely giving me some boss energy. Why do I feel like someone's boss is fixated with them? Definitely some type of co-worker or something where y'all, you have to work with each other in some type of way. I want to I wanna say like you might be even thinking about leaving this job because this shit is like becoming too much. It's like I can't even come to work without this motherfucker. It's like you know what time I take my lunch break or I be in the hallway. So it's like this person be like trying to time shit and make sure they just like trying to be too much. And it's just beginning to be too much. It really is. You got the, the two of pentacles and then you got the ace of cups right here. So this is like some type of new love, some type of new romance or something like that. Someone really has their heart out for you. Like, most definitely. This person is trying to figure out how to balance things. 
because it's like kind of out of whack right now. And again, this is a very arrogant person, a very boastful person that you should not cross. So I want to say like you may, this person may try to like use their power to like intimidate you or something. Because with the witch card, it's like almost like you're damned if you do damned if you don't. Because if you continue this, it's like you got this scandalous inappropriate affair that it's like. I feel like people at the job, that bitch right there, she know about that shit. Okay? Motherfuckers know about this shit. And it's like, he not going to get in trouble, bitch. But you going to get in trouble. For what the fuck he doing just because you was fucking with him, period. So it's like, you know, it's like, even if you go and report it or whatever, you were engaging in an affair with this person willingly so now it's like you want to stop and you want to go claim harassment but it was totally consensual so it's just it's like <clears throat> I feel like it's going to it's going to turn around in a way where it's just not going to be beneficial for you so I, that's why I feel like it's like you want some new level of happiness and I want to say like you could have even met somebody else um this person has I love how like dark hair and dark eyes and, and, and I want to say like this person is not too super huge well endowed but he got a nice like good eight inches on him that could really really like he is is a very good and essential lover and you're not paying any attention to this affair anymore because it's like you found great happiness. Like there's even certain music that you listen to that like really just like plays with your heartstrings. And it really makes you think about like the last time y'all were intimate. Like he just spends so much time just like pleasing your body and he just gets you so fucking wet before like you know how sometimes to initiate sex like a lot of women will go down and they'll start like pleasing their man or whatever like oh no he's going down to please you like he's definitely eating your pussy before he slide the dick in like you're coming off of some head before he even slide that dick in like when he slide that dick in he want to feel that pussy throbbing because you are still fucking climaxing from him fucking sucking the soul out of your clitoris bitch so yes ma'am miss pam he do like green eggs and ham baby girl you are definitely and i feel like you guys have sex every time y'all have sex it's always very sensual with some music playing in the background girl listen you are in heaven and you are just feeling like you are cursed by the fact that you even were fucking with this person at your job because this person is making your life a complete fucking hell it's just like yo like this is worse than fucking love and hip-hop and any fucking soap opera that you could ever watch growing up because this shit is fucking ridiculous and, it, and, and i honestly feel like you're thinking about just leaving because it's like this person got too used to y'all sneaking around and doing this shit and it's like I, I, you don't want to do it and it's like you're not that person anymore you found a new person like you were in love with someone new don't look nothing like this nigga he's handsome too but like i don't want you like you're my boss i don't feel comfortable doing that you know you are having a good time developing and exploring what a real relationship feels like with someone that you don't have to sneak around and be with. Something that don't feel wrong. And it's like, I'm not going to allow you to interfere with what means something to me right now because you have something new that really means something to you right now and you're definitely showing off in bed but it's like this person really likes sensual slow patient love making it's not even fucking it's love making you know 
So it's like you don't have time to be dealing with this dumb ass shit. But you got some new love. But you def like the person that is secretly crushing over you is this motherfucker at work that you want to leave you the fuck alone. That's <laughs> it. Okay. So let's see what's going on. Look, you said, bitch, I want all new everything. I want all new everything. I want no nothing from my past, bitch. I want all new everything. It says a true. And once I started out saying shine bright like a diamond. It says true diamonds will always shine through the darkness. So pressure creates diamonds. So like through this drama that you've been going through at work, it seems like you've met the right person for you. And you realize like you realize that whatever you were doing with this wasn't right. You know? So it says, just put it aside and choose joy. It says, today I choose joy. Put all of this shit aside and choose joy. <laughs> Seriously. Put it all aside and choose joy. Oh, this is my baby. All right, all right, all right. I am back, you guys. I'm sorry for the disruption. It is literally the next day. But I don't even need a refresher. I didn't even need to go back and see where I left off because I know exactly what was popping off with this thing. You guys are dealing with someone that y'all don't want to deal with anymore. And y'all got some new love. Y'all got some new love. Y'all having a lot of happiness. And the person from the past is very boastful and arrogant. And they're cautioning you, like, not to cross him. So just, like, off the rip, if I did not say this before, if you are, like, <clears throat> still having, like, any unnecessary interactions with this person, just go ahead and cut that on out. Like, don't even... Like, put your foot out there to for someone to say that you're misleading them and you're playing with their emotions, but you still be taking their calls and this, this, and that. Just, like, completely avoid this altogether. So, let's get into the rest of the tea, you guys. Because, like, listen. I, there's someone that is very shocked that they met you. It was, like, automatic attraction upon arrival. It was just, like, immediate immediate intense attraction so and you know I feel like you are in between worlds like you already know that you're leaving one standpoint of life that you're just kind of finished you're done you you you're not even interested in anything in the past like if you look back you're gonna turn into a pillar of salt so you just got completely moving forward and like what had what you have met upon your arrival is like very pleasing to the eyes a little shocking to you because it's just like on from day one if that kind of makes any sense it's like on from day one baby do you understand intense attraction it's like as soon as you guys start talking to each other and exchange numbers it's like you guys be talking to each other every day like y'all known each other for fucking years extreme happiness you have a lot in common. So, let's go. So, this is saying, are they happy with you? You got the yes card. So, this new person is extremely happy with you. Very happy that they met you. Someone is saying, I will forgive you for now. So, huh? Did, uh, again, what is this saying? This rooster. An arrogance and boastful person that you should not cross group to. Like this person has some level of entitlement or whatever. And they know that you're like trying to break up with them. And you're trying to like lean back and like wean them off of like this constant like uh, forceful approach. It's like how many, because it's like you're feeling like how many times do I have to reject you until you know? And it's like something that you just don't understand that this person is trying to say. It's like, I'm not going away. It's me and you. Like, you just tripping right now. Like, you'll get over it. Like, <laughs> this person is really, really I feel like one, at one point in your life, like 
it was happy it was happiness it was thrilling it was exciting but it became the gift and the curse because now i feel like you really regret the fact that you even like indulged in this foolishness it said god sent you this new love okay god sent this new love to you so this new person i told you look it says hi new friend please respond yes so again like just clocked it just all off the bat all off the bat so this new person that you guys are meeting definitely it's going to pop off you really really want to enjoy your time with this person um just kind of you got to figure out how you're going to deal with this person that you don't want to deal with anymore. Because I feel like this person will become and be a problem. So, yeah. If you want to know, like, who's been on your line. Like, who's been thinking about you. Who's been crushing on you. Group 2, you got two different people that are crushing on you right now. Putting pop. You have someone from the past who is acting an ass. Who is acting an absolute motherfucking ass. And hi. You got a brand new friend. You got new love. Okay. Real love. Okay. So listen. Group two. It's been real. Let's get into group three. What it be. Y'all. Because y'all got like. Y'all got witchy poo shit up in here. Motherfuckers. Like God. And like. It, it is giving obsessed girl. It is giving obsessed. Like you was just like. Get the fuck. It is giving obsessed. Like this person don't get it. Like Lord help me girl. Listen. I'm trying to tell you it's responsibilities when you got good pussy out here, girl. You can't just be giving that good poom poom to everybody now, okay? I am reloaded, okay? Listen, there's responsibilities out here, okay? So listen, my group three, group three, what it be? If you picked this bracelet, this is your group. Let's get into the tea. Let's see who has been secretly crushing on you. Okay, so let me put this bracelet on. Let's see what we getting into. So first, let's put these juicy little cards over here to the side. First, let's get into the T. So you got the crown. It says success and pride. All right now, we're being crowned. Someone, ooh, someone looks at you with very, very high regards. Like they really admire you. Mm -mm. I want you to play a a role of high importance in their life. Hello, how you doing? You got the dog. Protection from a powerful friend. Mmm. So this may be a friend, someone that you consider a colleague, someone that's always giving you advice, looking out for you that you can always call if you have a flat tire, you know, anything like that. Mm-hmm. It's your dog, your homie. Possibly about to be your homie, lover friend. Hello, how you doing? Mm-hmm. And then you got the teapot. Deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Ooh! Ho -ho! <laughs> Ooh! Hello! Come on, T. Y'all <laughs> dropping the T. Who is secretly admiring you, group number three? Someone of the same sex. Your dog. Ooh! Ho -ho! Ooh! Ooh! Miss Pam. She said, I do like green eggs and ham. She sure do. Let's get into this girl. Oh, 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 oh. And you got extra cards. There's some extra shit going on out here. Yes, ma'am. Hold on. So that's so. Ooh, ooh. Okay. So listen, it says secrets and discoveries. So you, are, I, I don't know if you were just now finding out that someone is interested in you. Like literally, you could just be putting in. Why do I feel like you be indisposed around this person? It's like you because you're so comfortable around this person. It's your friend, and again, y'all may be the same sex, so y'all might change clothes in front of each other's because y'all about to um, 
you know, try on some outfits in the mall or something. So y'all are going to the same little fitting room or whatever. Or you'll go over to each other's house after the club. And, like, this girl will just be walking around naked around you all the time. But, again, like, y'all might have grown up with each other. Or y'all just been around each other all y'all life. Or just so comfortable with each other to the point where you just don't really think nothing of, like, being naked around another woman. But I really do feel like this woman has been checking you out, like secretly discovering like damn like they are really really attracted to you and i feel like they may have never even really been attracted to someone of the same sex before it's something about like a level of comfort like that real confidant level of intimacy like and you might not even look at it that way it's like maybe this person is looking at it like you know in certain ways where I would normally be going to my man or whoever whatever for this level of comfort it's like I don't even get that from no dude from no dude I've realized I'm getting it from my best friend or for someone that's my friend like you know and you just are uh, just um, discovering new things about yourself but baby girl got a lot of pride girl you got a lot of pride so whoever this is knew that they had to hide this this is definitely a secret that is being kept from you boo boo so this person is definitely not letting on they are for sure uh, uh, holding the dog character uh, very close they are being a sincere and true and loving friend okay they are not letting you know that they are looking at you like that okay because they do not want to scare you off or make you feel uncomfortable but girl let me tell you huh this is the t again like this says deep friendship with someone of the same sex you see it hmm talk about dropping a t girl huh that is what we came for this morning. Child, I, where is my coffee? Where is my tea? Hello? Like, for real. Look at this person, like, looking at you on the low. Like, you don't even be having no idea. You be all in your phone and stuff. This motherfucker be looking at the way your head be all on your neck and stuff. And just like, ooh, 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 ooh. Girl. So, listen. You got the Knight of Cups. So, this is someone, and you see how this person is like submerged in their emotions? This person doesn't seem like they're out just gallivanting during the daytime about what they feel inside. It's like some secret being hidden. Look at this card, y'all. You see this person? He got all this armor on. He is all in the fucking water. This nigga look like he about to just sink and drown in this goddamn water. But you're supposed to be gallivanting and supposed to be expressing your love and everything like that. But you see how he got that helmet on his head. It's like he's keeping his thoughts close to himself. Or to her. Ooh, to himself or to herself. Listen, listen. But whatever, however the boat floats. Listen, go ahead and do your thing. Right, look. <laughs> look, I ain't here to judge nobody. But um, whoever this is. They are definitely submerged in their thoughts. Their horse has been, it's like it stopped because they have to really kind of plan this one accordingly. Because it's like, and again, it's like they don't, it's like they kind of don't want to spoil just them being able to kind of watch and just like admire from the sideline. It's like they really don't want to spoil the friendship or what y'all got going, you know? Because it's like if I let this bitch know that I like her, I'm not going to be able to just chill around this whole naked like that no more. I'm not going to be able to, you know what I'm saying? So it's like they kind of are enjoying just to be able to sit back and admire from this end. It's like, if, because if you're not with it, then it's going to fuck everything up. So, like, the level of thought. God damn it. Okay, I'm back. So, with group three. Group three, it seems like. This is like a heavy load for someone. Someone is very infatuated with you, group three. I feel like you guys have a lot of fun with each other. You guys go out with each other all the time. Y'all just have a splashing time. Y'all go out drinking party and have amazing 
great time with each other. So I feel like this is someone that you have like a deep friendship with. This is someone that you already know, but someone is expressing like a new level of love for you. And I feel like it might just completely knock you over. Like it really may do. Yo, and I'm in just looking at this. I really feel like all of this is going to be spilled over when like y'all are like fucked up. I mean fucked up, fucked up, fucked up. Like I'm literally seeing two people in an Uber because I don't see you guys driving. It's like sitting in the back of a fucking Uber and y'all are just sitting back there la laughing. Why am I hearing the word lush? Like y'all are laughing and having such a good time and like joning on each other or that's what we say here but like you know going back and forth with each other about how drunk each other is and things and then somehow it's just going to spill out it's just going to be like a moment where it's just going to be an awkward look or just like a little moment and y'all gonna be like whoa what the fuck is that what the fuck was that and it's just gonna slowly come all out on the fucking table bro and i'm trying to tell you the next time that y'all are gonna go, go to the house and gonna we'll come out of all that shit just gonna get comfortable just have girlfriend time and shit like that and i promise you it's just gonna come out and it's definitely gonna come out after y'all have had a good ass goddamn time but i don't necessarily feel like I don't feel like the emotions are going to be reciprocated the way that you want it to. Because it's like you want to be able to just be like, yeah, like, I feel like you're my soulmate. And, you know, I know we've been friends for a long time. But I just like, I don't know. Like, mm, I just can't get it out of my head. Like, you just are just so beautiful. And I think you deserve so much better. And, you know, I'll be seeing you going through all this stuff with your relationships and everything again. You know, it's just like, ah! but it's like this person is really, I really feel like they don't, they don't rock like that. They do not look at you in the same way. I feel like y'all, this person looks at you like you're just friends, but I don't, it's not going to be the end of y'all friendship though, because this is the death card in the reverse. So uh, I definitely feel like a certain part of your friendship has ended but there's one of you guys that is just not going to be able to let it go you know what i'm saying so one person may be trying to like i'm hearing cast the bullshit aside and just keep on going and act like something never happened but someone is not going to be able to just easily bury this shit because look at your ass like look at her ass like it's just so, yeah it's this person's body it's your body it, I, it's like I don't think this person has ever been this attracted to another female or someone of the same sex before it's your booty and your beauty girl okay it's your booty and your beauty baby i'm trying to tell you oh watch watch when you be hanging out with your friends getting drunk and shit somebody going to try girl watch you be like did this bitch just try to touch my butt yes she did yes she did did that was that bitch just looking at me did i just catch this bitch looking at me oh no yes you did <laughs> yes yes the fuck you did your friend your friend bitch your friend it showed me show was of the same sex Yo, homie friend. Yes, ma'am. Drop C. But, um, whoever this is with the crush, they're not going to be able to let it go. They're really not. Because it's like once it kind of gets spilled over and come out, it's like they're not going to really be able to hide it anymore. But it's like they're drowning in this, like, level of, like, lust and infatuation with you. And it's like this person really cares about you, too. Like, this is really your friend. You see what I'm saying? So it's just like... They just feel about you in a different way. Like, they fantasize about you and things. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, I don't know if they're going to be able to, like, hide this anymore. It's like, once this gets, like, exposed, it's like, baby girl, baby girl. Okay, let's see what's going on. So, it says, will they be happy if you get pregnant? Something says yes. 
Oh, I just heard that's gonna be our baby. Oh, oh, oh. Baby girl said that's gonna be our baby. All right. It says your kisses are mesmerizing. This person likes your lips. Okay. Just a touch. I love a little bit. Hey, just a touch. I love. Look. And then someone said, wait, what the fuck just happened? I'm telling you, somebody is going to blow your mind. They're going to come on to you. be like, bitch, are you fucking kidding me right now? Did you just try to fucking lick on my pussy? Yes, this bitch is trying to lick on your pussy. Oh, my God. Listen, oh, my God. And then the girl said, I love a bad girl. Ooh! Mm! Oh, my goodness. What is happening right now? And then some says, what are you known for? Ooh, something is coming out. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I just don't say much. Ooh. Someone said, I'm about to kill this pussy. Ooh. Yes, ma'am. And be my rider. Ooh. Be my rider. Let me be the provider. Ooh, you nasty. You is nasty, girl. Listen, oh, I'm trying to tell you, somebody is really, really trying to get you to play, like, a different role in their life. Like, they're trying to crown you queen for real. Queen Shiba. Okay, hello, Queen Shiba. Okay, Queen Shiba, baby. Listen, success, pride. Like, you so elegant and so beautiful. You so beautiful, girl. Ooh, ooh. Just wait. Oh, just fucking wait. I, I honestly feel like this person is like, just fucking wait until I can have that motherfucker. I'm gonna tear that pussy up. I'm gonna suck that thing up. I'm gonna suck my wrist off that thing. Oh, ooh. And I can't even talk to you about no lesbian shit because I ain't no lesbian, so I can't even get into all that. So, uh, but I'm trying to tell you, girl. I'm trying to tell you, look. Okay, gonna lick that bikini by time, girl. All right, bottoms up, bottoms up. Eh. Oh, you know what's up. Eh. Uh, 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 eh. Okay, ain't that what? <laughs> and what? Ain't that what Trey song always say? Eh. Okay, bitch. All right. Oh my gosh. Look, y'all. I gotta go. Cause I ain't no hoe. And this shit is making me a little. Oh my goodness. Cause I'm just like, hold on. Look, I'm sorry the way she got that booty tooted up like that. I'm trying to toot my booty up like that. Bitch, I'm trying to get sucked up. I'm trying to get sucked up. I'm trying to get sucked up. And I'm just trying to tell you, whoever this is, like, your friend, if you don't engage with this, with them, which I'm trying to tell you right now, I don't see you doing it. I really don't. Because like you said, like, girl, what the fuck is, what? What the fuck just happened? Girl, you said, what's it this whole time you was looking at me? Girl, this whole time I was looking at you. What? Uh, girl, oh my God. Let me just go ahead and get over this shit, girl. Because you girl, I'm about to, uh, uh, uh. She ain't going to get over it. She is not going to get over it. She is not going to let you put this to rest and go and... Mm -mm. They want to continue to have fun with you. They want to continue to have fun with you. They hope that you would be receptive of this love, but sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Almond Joys have nuts and bitch mounds don't. So, bitch, bleep, 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 that is all, folks. I'm about to get my ass up out of here. I done been disrupted several times trying to record this video but i hope you guys enjoyed it y'all make sure y'all click that like button y'all if y'all are new hit that subscribe button tell a friend to tell a friend to come over here and make a selection okay i see y'all down in the chat okay y'all let me know where y'all from you know throw your gang signs in the place gang signs in the place hold on i ain't really talking about like no I mean, I mean, but, but look, it, look, wrap your set if you got to, but I'm just like, where you from? Put where you from down in the chat. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give your city some love. So, you know what I'm saying? Put, bitch, I'm gone. Let me go. Bye. <laughs>